Uh, hey guys, hello, welcome. So, a lot of people have been begging me to finally do this. I mentioned this in a community post, I think like two months ago. But, a lot of people have been begging me to finally do this, and I'm finally doing it, so... You're welcome. Anyway, I'm gonna show y'all how to uh, put spine files in Unity so that you can put your MSM monsters in if they're in spine. If you, uh, if your monsters are in Moho, uh, th I currently do not have a way of doing that. I know that you can export Moho files and stuff into FBX files. Maybe I'll fi I'll figure it out someday because I know that you can. I know that it is possible. Just I currently don't have a way of doing it. So you can either select 2D built-in render pipeline or universal 2D. I'm going to do universal 2D because that's just what I always do. And then you could just hit uh, create project and just wait for it to make the project. Also, a uh, Unity editor version really shouldn't matter. Just choose the one you think will fit best. I always choose 2021.3 something. It's always what I choose. So you just want to create your project. So now that you've done that, you want to go to uh, this link and uh, it'll take you to the Spine website. This is where you will install the Spine to Unity runtime. Uh, don't get this because I'm guessing that most of you guys are sailing the seven seas and uh, you would want to actually go to older versions and you want to find uh, Spine Unity 3.8 for Unity 2017 blah 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 really don't think it matters and you'll just click on this and it will install this unity package so once you install the unity package you can just drag the file into your into your scene or your project folder and you'll get this all all this stuff you'll just want to hit import and then wait for that to import uh, now once you've done that you will have a uh, spine and spine examples in your folders thing and uh, and then you can import your your spine files so I have this uh, Kena rig made by MSM Mike you should check him out he's pretty cool uh, you have all of your jeez ah, you have a uh, let me turn that down you have all of these animations and uh, uh, here we even have this test one hey <laughs> Anyway, uh, so here's how you'd want to export these. So you want to go up to uh, uh, here, go to export, and then uh, you can find uh, JSON. And you can just have it export to any folder, any output folder, it doesn't really matter. But you need to make sure that you are exporting the JSON as, well, .json, or JSON, however you want to call it. Format, JSON. You can select these. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter as much. Be sure that you pack the texture atlas though and have it set to attachments. Then go to pack settings and be sure that the atlas extension is .atlas.txt. Uh, atlas if it's not, it won't work. Uh, set the format to PNG, pre multiply alpha. Just follow any of the settings that I have here. Most of these are just the defaults. Once you do that, then you can just export, and there you go. Now you have exported your uh, your JSON files. Now I need to figure out where I put them, because I didn't really look at the, the folder I was putting them. Okay, so once you find uh, where you exported them, uh, you will want to go into the skeleton.json file. This is very important that you do this or else you will not be able to be able to import it into Unity. So if you see right here, this is the spine version that you exported your, your file thing. Now for some reason this won't work. You will need to change this from 3.8.75 to 3.8.33 beta. Not sure why this is the case, but that's just what you gotta do I guess. Now, once you do that, uh, you can go ahead and drag the skeleton.atlas.txt, the skeleton.json, and the skeleton.png files all into your Unity project. And then once you import them, you'll get a bunch of other files. This is your skeleton data file. Uh, as you can see down here, we have our little Kena. 
do our little s stuff right here. Uh, now, what you will want to do is that if you are using a uh, universal render pipeline, I specifically like to do this. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm trying to find a better solution to this. I would. I like to go into universal render pipeline 2D then sprite lit so it can be affected by 2D lights. Though I don't think this is the best solution. I think there's a definitely better ways to do that. And now what we can do is that we can, uh, you can either, I'm just gonna show you this way. You can right click down here. You can uh, go to spine and then uh, go to uh, skeleton animation. Now that we have skeleton animation, we can drop down our little Kena thing into skeleton data asset. And now we have Kena in our scene. And uh, when we play, when we play the game, you may see that nothing happens. And there's a reason why, and that's because we don't have any animation playing. So if I say select the idle, for example, and then hit play, now Kena is hitting a little jig, and that's really how you how you uh, put your spine files into Unity. Now, I, I may make a second tutorial. Oh, Kena stopped. We can just uh, select loop, and uh, and uh, one thing that we can do to start the next tutorial, if I do do that eventually, is uh allowing uh, your uh, spine things to be read by timelines or scripts or whatever you want to do with that is that you want to go uh, let's actually drag these all into a folder let's put them into this new folder I just made and then uh, you will want to take your Kena thing and you want to click here where it says create animation reference assets so now we have references for each of our animations. This will make it easy for us to execute animation through script or or timelines or MIDI players. And that's really it. I don't got much else to say. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this is useful for, for you guys. Maybe I'll make one for Moho eventually. And I'm going to stop yapping now and uh thanks for watching. Bye-bye.